you know, um, I'm so happy that New York is bringing good theater actors to L.A., finally. And there's good theater here, wonderful little theaters. Like there's a theater at the, um, I think it's on King's Road in West Hollywood. It's a small little theater, but it's absolutely ideal. It's called the Globe, and it's not Shakespearean only. They have all kinds of entertainment in that. I've seen vaudeville in there. I've seen entertainers that just do the one man or one woman show. And I understand, I didn't see the show, but I'm going tonight. And there's a new show called The Last of the Honky Tonk Angels. Isn't that a great title? Uh, I'm going to let someone, t you've probably seen her on television for years and years. She has done them all. She's with the, well, she's with the Waltons for many, many years. And this lady is absolutely, she's from Oklahoma, I understand. Ronnie Claire Edwards. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Are you really from Oklahoma? I am, yes. Where? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Uh -huh. What made you get into acting from Oklahoma City? I know actors are come from there, but did, were you an actress all your life? All my life, yes. Um, well, my father was a trial lawyer, and my mother wrote True Confession magazine stories. And I say, you couple that combination, you bred an actress. Uh huh. That's so. true. Very true. You in the theater right now? Yes. You do a lot of theater, not just movies and television. Because I you've did done a lot of theater for years. Uh huh. Is that your first love, really? Yes. Yes. Because mm -hmm. yes. you've done a lot of yes. television, working on the Waltons. Was yeah. it fun? Yes, and they're v they were very nice people. You yeah. still see them? Some yes, of them? I do. Uh -huh. You do? Mm -hmm. Miss working on the Waltons? Because that was an American icon uh, show. That was a wonderful show. Icon and, show. and people, st I still get people come up to me and say how they loved it. And after all these years, uh -huh. yes, it was a very nice experience. Susan. Yes. Uh, Susan. Um, Lanier. Lanier. You have been on television, movies. I have seen you. Matter of fact, I saw you with Richard Chamberlain downtown in L.A. and a wonderful show, The Night of the Iguana. Correct. It was a Shelley Winters, a nightmare in New York with, the, <laughs> oh, she she was fabulous in that. Betty Davis. She's she took my over favorite. Betty Davis's part. Shelley Winters? Shelley Winters is my favorite. Well, you look like a young Shelley Winters, doesn't she, darling? I have been told that Beautiful. before. Thank yeah, really? you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, darling? I'm from Dallas. You're a Southern girl, too. Yes. Dallas, Texas, growing yes. up in Dallas. Mm -hmm. What made you get in the business? Just, I've always been in the theater, too, and uh -huh. um, I actually uh, met Ronnie Claire when I was about 13 years old, working in Alice in Wonderland at a theater called Theater 3, uh -huh. and I just really have always just done that. You've been friends since you were 13? Mm -hmm. huh? How great. Forever. Forever. I think it's great. Who's this lady you got? She is from the South, too, and she, I hear she is one of the champion singers, yodels and sings. and. She goes around. She was at the White House, too, singing. Tell me about yourself, my darling. This is... Alina, Alina Tatum. Tatum. Alina Tatum. I love it. Are you related to Tatum Tatum? You know who I'm talking about? No, you're not related. No, no. <laughs> uh, no. All the people that I'm related to live in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Tell me about yourself. How did you get into the show? Well, actually, I met Susan. Um, I was in Dallas with the Campbell Agency and they called Susan to take pictures of me. Uh -huh. She's a great photographer. And at the end of the session, um, it started snowing outside right. in Dallas. And that's very rare. And so I said, do you want to hear me yodel? And she said, why yes. And so I yodeled for her and at this time she told me that she didn't know about the, um, the play. Uh -huh. And so um, I guess when she was with Ronnie Claire. Uh -huh. um, they talked about the play, and she got the part. Uh -huh. And then, I guess, um, I just you, got, you got the up. part. <laughs> the last of the honky tonks, angels. Then, Edwards, you wrote the show with you Leslie Jordan. With, with who? With Leslie Jordan. Now, who is Leslie Jordan? Well, Leslie Jordan's an actor that Susie, you know more about him than I do. He's he, uh, you, matter of fact, you worked with him in, in Southern Baptist Sissies, mm -hmm. and that was a play that Del Shores wrote uh, that ran forever at the Zephyr Theater. Right, right. And Leslie's a fabulous, fabulous actor, and uh -huh. uh, he recurs 
quite frequently on Will and Grace, uh -huh. as well as a million other mm -hmm. television shows. He's just a wonderful talent. Uh -huh. Where did you get the idea for this show? That's a great idea, The Last of the Honky Tonk Angels, about a theater mm -hmm. that is, tell me about it. Well, that's always haunted me, because these abandoned theaters and these old opera houses, because uh, very early on in my career, I worked in those places in a couple of mining camps. Mm -hmm. And they were really the happiest days of my life because I was doing what I loved doing and I was a kid and you had to be a kid to survive it. Right. And um, so those old opera houses have always haunted me. Uh -huh. And I've always thought, oh, I'd love to own one. Mm -hmm. And then you th all theaters are filled with ghosts. Ghosts. And um, I thought, what if the ghosts reappear? What if they're going to tear this theater down? And the ghosts reappear and, and give their reason, personal reasons, uh -huh. for why it shouldn't be torn down. In other words, what happened to me I in see. this building that uh, enhanced my life, my career, uh -huh. and uh, I will tell that, my story uh -huh. of what happened, and plead for it not to be torn down. What a wonderful place to do it in. Absolutely. At the Globe Theater. It's perfect. It's perfect. A perfect Perfect. It is so perfect. It's a wonderful theater. You've got to tell my audience. It is just a darling well, little seated theater. It, and, it, and, it's, and it looks like almost abandoned. Yes. And um, it has these things we, that are called Juliet's. Yes. Uh, that there's one up here and there's one on each side. And really what they are are like little balconies with, lo with doors, doors that open and yeah. closed. Right. So right. you can put actors up uh, in those. Uh huh. And uh, so there's always, their actors are coming from everywhere. Mm -hmm. You sing? No. You don't sing? I don't sing. You're just an actress. I'm just an just actress and sometime writer. Now, not you just. Yeah, go ahead. You, <laughs> you do comedy, though. Yes. And you sing. I do. You do a lot mm -hmm. of singing. I had a country Look, dance this, for a long time. Did you really? Mm -hmm. That's me. Is this show. you? Look That's at me. you. Yes. Let's show this. This is the uh, advertisement for the show. Well, I am the honky tonk angel. You, oh, you are the honky mm -hmm. tonk angel. Oh. Get to the roll. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. And what song do you sing in this? I like sing a, "Down to My Last Cigarette," uh -huh. "Right or Wrong," and um, uh, "God Made it Honky Tonk." God. It wasn't God who made honky tonk uh -huh. angels. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Who wrote the song? We, none of them are original. We're using all oh, old, old, old songs. Old songs. How yes. beautiful. We're using all old songs. And you do yodeling. What kind of yodeling? I love to hear you yodel. I love it. Would you mind yodeling first? Not at well, all. Well, let's hear something with you. Well, there's three types of yodeling. Yeah. And all together, it sounds like this. I bet the audience yeah. goes oh, wild. They go, they go crazy. crazy. They, they go am crazy. I right? They go crazy. Must, oh, God. I, th I think if they don't stop clapping while she's playing, they can't hear her. Really? They keep, <laughs> they keep clapping, and I want to say, don't clap now. I love it. <laughs> How long have you been yodeling? Well, yes. I've been yeah. yodeling since I was about nine or ten. Who, who taught you to yodel? Did anyone in your family encourage you to, or what? No. Brothers? Any? Oh, Lord, not my brothers. No, no. my brother would <laughs> pay me to be quiet. Um, <laughs> But I was listening to um, Leanne Rahm's version of Cowboy Sweetheart, and then I got into the old Patsy Montana stuff. Uh -huh. And um, I actually joined a group, and it's in the Fort Worth Stockyards, and uh -huh. it's called the Buckaroos. Um, huh. And like a bunch of the kids in that group yodeled, and so we just like got uh -huh. better and better together. I have a show at Monday nights every Monday at Cafe Roma, and I have some wonderful talent there, and I love you. 
to grace the room some Monday. Would you mind? Oh, I know you're working. I know you're to. working every what is it? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh -huh. The show at the Globe. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock every Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, and it's <coughs> wonderful. Five on Sunday. Five. Five. Five, five, five on Oh, five o'clock. You mean? On yes. Uh, yes. But you would you come in on a Monday night? To oh, absolutely. To sing for this us. They, uh, yes, this Monday this would be Monday. great. Audience would love you. You're just a delight. You really are. Thank you yeah. also an actress, though. Yes. Are you studying right now? Am I studying? Yeah, with anyone here um, in town, or just you just came for the show. She just came for the show. Just for the okay. show. And fell in love with acting. Yes. Oh, I see. This is your first uh, acting job then. But you went to Washington. Tell me about your trip in Washington. Um, I went to Washington D.C. Um, I sang at the Black Time Boots inaugural ball. Uh huh. And it was a great. It was great. It was like the biggest crowd I've ever sang before. Uh -huh. I think it was like. I'm not sure, maybe 13,000. I'm not uh -huh, really uh -huh. sure, but there's just a bunch of people packed in the room. And Did you do yodeling too? Oh, no. yes. Yes, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they loved it, don't they? Oh, yes. Washington's a lot of uh, Southerners there, aren't they? Right now. <laughs> yeah, right now. Right now. Right now there are. Tell me, Susan, about you, darling. What have you been doing? I mean, just you're doing theater, a lot of theater. Yes. I, I recur occasionally on Days of Our Lives. You are. Uh -huh. and, um, Which, what character is it? Um, well, lately I've been playing Cheryl. Uh huh. But um, that's just is, is sporadic. She a bitch or what? Oh yes, she, always. She, I always play yeah. the bitch or the drunk or the drug uh -huh. addict. Or <laughs> and um, okay. <laughs> I love those over-the-top characters. Uh -huh. And um, uh, I probably uh, am most known for a lot of sitcom work in the 70s and, a and early 80s. I played John Travolta's girlfriend on Welcome Back, Cotter. I was Bambi. Oh, that's and I right. Originated you were. That that's role. correct. And, um, you still see John around uh, once more? No, but I do see some of the other uh, sweat hogs. <laughs> and, so, um, and then I did uh, some stand-up on Tony Orlando and Dawn, and, and I believe uh, I might have worked with you in the, in the, on Sean Anna. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, just uh, right now focuses theater and television and, you know. Still Magnolias. You were in that. Yes, at the Bassino Playhouse. Yes, mm -hmm. I thought I saw that. Yes. But yeah, you were great in that. I remember Thank you now. Thank very much. I, I, I kind of got a little burned out in the theater. and I, I had done a one-woman show called The Knife Thrower's Assistant, Memoirs of a Human Target. Ooh, I like that. And uh, I had done that around, and then I had done it in Edinburgh at the festival where it won, Festival First. Right. And then Fanny Flagg said, you've got to make, and Elizabeth Forsyth Haley, who wrote A Woman of Independent Means, said you should make this into a book, uh -huh. which I did. Yes. You so have a book out? I have a book out. Is it your life, actually? Yes. It's your memoirs? It's a memoir. I uh -huh. have a book also out. It's, it's uh, called The Boy with the Betty Grable Legs. And it's oh, my show is memoir. That's a he, wonderful, see he, the title can just. That, you like the title? I like the title. My publisher didn't like it because he thought maybe it would hurt the sales, but it's doing very well. Well, but and, and the book business is, as you know, it's slow. Well, and the book business is as hard as the theater. It it's is. It's a very, very difficult business. Writing is very, very difficult. And I love to write. Oh, I love to write. Little uh, Foxes, yes. Betty Davis. I see you, I, I don't know why I see you as Betty Davis going back those days of Little Foxes and yeah. wonderful. It's a wonderful part. Wonderful roles. Wonderful Betty role. Davis roles. Yes. How about, roles. how about you doing something like Have you ever done those roles? No, I've, I've done The Little Foxes. You have done Oh, yeah, I've done The Little Foxes. Uh, interestingly enough, I, I worked in all those rep theaters for years and years and years, leading right. a woman in all those rep theaters. Uh -huh. And um, I said I played every part I ever wanted to play, some of them twice. And I, I, I was very fortunate to get that. And then I came out here and got on The Waltons, and that lasted 10 years. And I did other series, too, and I just did a pilot where I played um, Delta Burke's mother. Uh -huh. What has been the most gratifying single moment in your life? What has been the gratifying moment? Well, I'm waiting for it. You are? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have a lot longer to wait. Are you married? I, I you no. Married? No. <laughs> no, I'm still hanging fire on that, Skippy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you're, so you're a very strong, could you consider yourself a strong lady? Strong, strong. Well, I don't know. Strong opinion. You know, strong I always opinion. say, you know, I may be wrong, but I'm never uncertain. You know, I have a very strong opinion. But Susan, how about yourself? 
as as a, are you are you married? Yes, I am. You are. Mm -hmm. You have children and all that. I have a son. You mm -hmm. have a son. Is mm -hmm. is he uh, going to be in the business or? He plays guitar. He does, uh -huh. just like her. Yes, uh -huh. he plays guitar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. are you encouraging him for the business, or are you just letting him? Um, I, I would love a doctor. You know, <laughs> I mean, I want him to be a doctor or a I, business person. I, I think it's so it's so tricky, you know, this uh -huh. business and surviving it. And what have you learned about yourself, Susan? I'm a survivor. That's I'm a survivor. Good. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I've had mm -hmm. several careers, and mm -hmm. and I've and sometimes it's hot, and sometimes it's not, and I've stuck in there. And if you, you know. had to do it over again, darling, what would you would you do it the same way? If I had it to do over again. I think that I would go to England, and I would study in England. And uh, so you're a very serious actress, then you consider yourself very. I mean, and I was in the theater. You take it serious. I think it's an honorable and noble profession. Right. And I think, and it's a very difficult profession. Uh -huh. I think when you go into it, if you realized how difficult it was, you maybe wouldn't do it, uh -huh. because I think it takes. 20 years. Yeah, the Republicans are, all these Republicans are just making right. laughs. They laugh at actors from Hollywood. They think we're a little silly nothingness. Alina, you're listening to wonderful people here. I mean, seasoned performers. You're going to learn from them. Have you learned on stage anything from them since you've been doing the show? I know it's only a few weeks, but have you, what have you learned? Well, I've learned a lot more about acting and stuff, and they're just like my role models. I want to grow up to be them. <laughs> uh huh. So but that's, go ahead. They've influenced me. I mean, I I came up here and I I was in the play and everything, and I just love acting, and I I want to further my career. So you do want to be an actress, then? You're so not just a yodeler and playing guitar and just sing and working cabarets. Because cabarets are very difficult. Very difficult. You know, w and matter of fact, we don't have cabarets like we used no. to have. No. I See, know all these fabulous cabaret performers. There's no place for them to sing. I'm one of them, dear. <laughs> Where do they go? <laughs> That's what I'm doing is, you know. Yeah, of course, there aren't any there aren't at any. all. You know. But the show is going to be for how long at the... Um, it's going to be at least another two weeks uh -huh. at, uh, at the Globe. Uh-huh. And, are uh, they going to plan to take? Are you planning to take this somewhere else? Well, it, it was it was done in Texas. It Where? just closed in Texas, in a, a near Fort Worth, in a place called Granbury Opera House, uh -huh. which is a restored opera house, and it was a jewel of a place. Right. And then this uh, a show might go to. Uh, they're talking about doing it in Palm Springs. In and, Palm Springs. Uh -huh. Interesting. Why Palm Springs? Uh, because it's because a, they have they, they, a producer down there wants it. Uh -huh. So. Um, you know, uh, 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 it it might move to there. Uh huh. But a great idea. I'm dying to see the show. I'm coming tonight to see you guys. You know. Mm -hmm. But you and know, I'm, theater. Right. If if the show is in an abandoned theater, you can't go into just any theater. Right. Right. You can't right. go into a little black box. It has to be a theater like the Globe. You know that. Uh huh. Really is the proper venue for it. Susan, tell me something. Yes. You've been in the business a long time, since you were a little girl. Mm -hmm. Come out to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult for you at the beginning? I was very lucky at the beginning. I love that. I love a lovely, lovely, honest answer. Lucky. Some actors will not use that. They, they're bitter. A lot of them are, some are bitter. Am I right or not? Oh, very. They are bitter, and they say they're not <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Go ahead, Susan. And they had everything. Go ahead. I, I was on the road with Pat Paulson doing Love him. Last of the Red Hot Lovers. I met him at the E, e Little Club, Pat and I. We're he, good friends. He was a wonderful comedian and a right. wonderful person, human being. And his manager, uh, agent, was ICM. Right. And they came, I was getting a lot of great reviews uh, on the road, right. and they were my first agent here. So uh -huh. I kind of came in and they... You got the cream of the crop, yeah, right? There. I was and very they took lucky. Over, yeah. yeah, they took over but my career. But you're a good type, and you're probably, you're talented and everything else, so the whole thing is there. I love comedy, and I think comedy is very difficult to do, and, and I, I just love doing it, so... It's comedy, and I bet you're a good dramatic actress, because comedy yes. goes along. If you're a good comic, you're you know you're a great dramatic actress. Isn't that isn't that true? So like Red Skelton or yes. mm -hmm. or Jackie Gleason that, yes, or Red Buttons, mm -hmm. it's that line. It, and you know this thing about luck. When people say, "Oh well, uh, uh, you were just lucky," uh -huh. 
Well, there's an old phrase that says, you know, luck favors those who are prepared. Right. you got to be prepared. So when that moment, if you have to be ready for it. You have to be prepared. You have to know your craft. Tell these young kids you know. that. Those kids are listening to it now. They, that's the most important. They all want to be stars overnight. Mm -mm. Right. And it's not like that. they got to be ready. they got to keep studying, working, keep their craft. I don't care where it is. That's why I have the showcase at Cafe Roma, and some of the kids are just really, really good. And they keep working. They're not ashamed to get up there and do it for nothing, or a song or two, because mm -hmm. they want to get up there and keep their tools sharp, you know? Well, and that's very important. I, I think also, uh, there is no teacher like an audience. Yes. And if you get the privilege uh, to be in front of an audience is a privilege. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, uh, you know, enthusiasm will carry you just so far. You know, and then you have to have technique. Uh-huh. Well, it's, it's amazing. Um, I will, I'll never forget, I, right before Silence of the Lambs, uh -huh. I saw Anthony Hopkins do Equity Waiver in a 99-seat house in Hollywood. Right. And... Uh, people who really are in love with this work and passionate Absolutely. about their work have to do it. So even if the venue is for free or you're paying dues or you're working out right. your craft, it's, you're driven to do it. And it was an amazing experience to see Anthony Hopkins doing Equity Waiver mm -hmm. here in L.A. Kim Stanley is one of my favorite oh. actresses in the whole world. From, from, um, she did a great, great movie called The Goddess. The Goddess. Mm -hmm. Watch it. And oh. are you familiar with it? No. Rent it, watch it, <coughs> learn about acting. This is, this is what technique of acting is. And she taught here for a while before she moved mm -hmm. to Santa Fe, because her daughter's in Santa Fe. But she always said, keep working. She didn't care. It's always working. All her actors sat on the floor, and she just showed them what to do. It was wonderful. The most brilliant actress. She she? Is Im I think she's dead now. Oh, I she is dead. Uh, she just I mean, died most, recently. And uh, I saw her in New York in bus stop. Yes. Uh, in in uh, just play after play after play. I saw she's just brilliant. Yes, yes. And that movie, The Goddess, is one of the brilliant. Uh, is one of the most brilliant acting. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. That's what show business is about. You're young, you're, how old are you, darling, if I may ask? Fifteen. Fifteen, wow. <laughs> oh, to be fifteen. I, I don't know oh, about that. <laughs> but boy, you yodel. I like to hear you yodel again, but you, it, just a little, you mind? Just a little something? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, why not? I love it. I think she's wonderful, don't she you? She's wonderful. She's, she's darling, and she's beautiful, too. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> okay, go ahead, darling. You can sing anything you wish. Go ahead. Sing anything? Sing anything. Go ahead. I want you to sing. Do you, you want me to yodel or sing? Either way. Oh, sing. Both. A little sing something. a little okay. something. Go ahead. I'll sing for you. We have a lot of guys out there going to fall in love with you. <laughs> Deep within my heart lies a melody, a song of old. Tayton, you are just a delight. Thank you Thank for you. gracing this TV today. You were just you. absolutely wonderful. Isn't she wonderful? She's, She's wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. Tell me about the National Anthem. You do a lot of it around your places. You sing those National Anthem songs. Oh, yes. 
I, I've been singing the national anthem since I was very, 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 very little. Very little, very little. <laughs> I started out in the rodeo in my hometown. Rodeo? Is that, uh -huh. they, you have a rodeo in your hometown? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And then <laughs> I went to um, just like towns around and I went to um, Fort Worth uh -huh. and I'm a regular in the Fort Worth Stockyards. I do the national anthem for the women's rodeo, the um, bull riding. So you're well known around there. They love you. Uh, Elena Tatum, they love her, I bet. Now you come to Hollywood and I'm coming to see you tomorrow night, lady. I hear you, and I'm going to take you to Beverly Hills up at the Cafe Roma Monday night. Huh? You're going to come in. There. Please be there. You're going to love the show. It's uh, absolutely. And I'm, I hear the show is just what? The last of the honky tonk angels. Right. That is a great title. Yeah. Tell me, where did you come up with that title? Well, uh, because um, it's the honky tonk angel is right. a very. Uh, and she is the honky tonk. Yeah, she is the honky tonk angel. Yeah. And but there are other honky tonk angels right, too. Right. Right. And um, that's a that's a well known phrase in country music. Right. Right. A honky tonk angel. And what does Leslie Jordan play in this? He show? plays a little a guy named Leprechaun? Pee Wee Sparks. Pee Wee Sparks. Sparks. And he does a you know like that old cornball um, uh, country comic. Yes. Yes. Pinky yes. Pinky Lee. Pinky Lee. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yes. he's playing Pinky Lee, kind of, kind kind of. of Pinky mm -hmm. Lee. Mm -hmm. Ah, very interesting. So it's really, it's really countryish. Vaudeville, vaudeville country. Country, yes. Mm -hmm. I like the word vaudeville country. Oh. Yeah. Susan, you're really right to the point, darling. Always. You know, it's just, <laughs> you're, did you still do comedy up? You ever get up to the comedy store? Anymore? No, I had a country band though, and I used to play the Rose Tattoo in West Hollywood. I remember that. And um, so, um, did I ever come and see you at the Rose Tattoo? I used to perhaps. hang around there with Tommy Lasorda Jr. Uh, you I remember Tommy I used Lasorda to have Jr. A, we a used show to on Saturday night. Saturday. So, mm -hmm. What was the name of the band? Well, Suze Lanier and Susan Lanier. Mm -hmm. I've probably seen you, honey. But a lot of country it was, blues. It yeah. was fun. That it was, was a, a gay, it was a gay club called the Rose Tattoo. Right. <laughs> it was a very fun gay club, and it's still fun there. It was a, um, it was the second biggest cabaret venue mm -hmm. at in the eighties. Yeah, right. You and Beth Milner, uh, the, the gays made them, boy. They made Susan too, probably, huh? Well, Rose, I had a nice following. Had a I, good I, I just love the community. I uh -huh. love that community, and uh -huh. and there's so much fun. You are a delight, and I really want to thank each and every. Uh, thank you so much, darling, for coming thank and you. singing for me, and I'm going to see you tomorrow night. I mean, tonight. Oh, I love that outfit you got on. What is that? Is that, uh, Who knows? it's some, all, you know. Some rig. Rig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, darling. We thank you so thank very, you very much. much. Thank you. And it's, uh,